I've been sent this case, this Alanzi V2 Pro, because they saw my review of the Alanzi V2 case, like what they saw, and said, well, I'd like to try out the new case. So I've got a new case, it's free, but I'm not being paid for this video. But uh, it's rather nice when people do send you things. Right, let's have a look what's inside. So a new case with quarter inch mount somewhere for the microphone to go on the side, an adapter for um, filters. Oh, a lens cap. Wow. And a mounting bracket. So it's got a screw on thing there, a cold shoe there, and various places to mount it. Oh, I have to put this together. All right, so we've taken a GoPro. That's it, closed. filters. Right that's the setup so obviously now I've got the I've got the tripod from Lanzi, I've got the light from Lanzi and I've got the new camera case. So I think obviously in low light situations that would be really handy to carry around but you don't need to take the light with you all the time. But the beauty of that of course is it fits on the the screwing mount at the bottom of this. It could actually also fit on the bottom one. Let me show you that. So you could just use it there without the swivel mount, which makes it a bit smaller. Um, but the only, of course, the only trouble with that is that it's in a fixed position, so it's just sort of looking straightforward. But that's okay because it's a fairly wide angle lens. And I think the great thing about this system is it is so um, versatile. It's got this bracket here so I can mount the, <coughs> the camera and the light opposite each other. I've got the lens cap so I can leave that on keep it free from dust or, or dirt or whatever where I, wherever I am. You've got the tripod mount which you can swivel and you've got the filter attachment for when I get some filters. I can actually mount the, the little mic that I use in there so it keeps it even more low profile and it keeps it out of the way. Obviously you don't get as good a sound and uh, when you're not using a microphone. Or you can just use it just mounted directly onto the tripod itself and, and not use the bracket. So that's probably be best when you're outdoors. Yeah, I think that would be my outdoors setup with the mic on top of it. And if I'm filming indoors, I can use the light on the light bar also means I can use it with my bigger tripod just to use it just to put the light on it if I wanted to and I'll put the camera in there as well yeah that's a good bit of kit I think possibly if there is a drawback is it's more gear to carry around with us but I think you decide what you're going to carry with you at the time so don't usually like to carry a big tripod but uh, you know for filming something indoors and you need a bit of light you've got that or well, you've got that and that that really is a sort of the outdoor setup I guess and this I guess is my indoor setup 
So I've got the microphone, I've got the light, I've got the tripod uh, grip. Right, really happy with the the new setup uh, with this uh, case and uh, the light to go with it and the tripod to go with it. Obviously the bit uh, I'm reviewing is this bit here, the case. Uh, I'll leave links in the description as I said earlier and you can have a look at that, see what you think. I think it's a brilliant bit of kit if you've got a GoPro. It solves so many problems with a GoPro. Makes it obviously a bit heavier and uh, a bit more bulky but it's still something that you can carry around quite easily with you. Um, yeah, very pleased with that. So thanks for sending me that and uh, If you like what you see give us a thumbs up remember to subscribe Hit the notifications icon and you get updates when we release a new video. So we'll see you soon